Welcome to a quick view of what a Caribbean market is like. Sometimes you will get some of the farmers outside, but now it is strict. You're not allowed to sell outside of the market, but I guess it's Christmas time. They're giving them a little chance to sell some outside, but you can't normally. This is a poultry shop. It's a private business also. They have a full business there. There is also uh, farmers inside that sell pork and beef and lamb, any kind of meat that you could think of, there is also people inside selling that in the market. And the most the popular market days are Saturdays and Sunday, but the market for the uh, farmers are open whole week, seven days a week, and it closed, I think it's at five o'clock. I could be wrong, but I hardly go to the market because I have so much in my garden already. Today I want to share a haul with you all, my Christmas farmer's market haul. Just came from the farmer's market. It was so busy I couldn't really do a video inside there. There was so much people, so much vehicles. So it was kind of hard to do a video inside it. But let's do a haul of the stuff that I got in the farmer's market. So we wouldn't call it a farmer's market in, in, in the Caribbean. What we would call it, we would just say market. You know, I will call us a, a grocery, a supermarket. So, say that the majority of my viewers is international viewers, I would say farmer's market. We would have this every Saturday and Sunday, this big building, that is the farmer's market. So you will go there and purchase your fresh produce. Alright, so let's go and see what I got in my Christmas simple market haul. All right, let's All right, so let's get into Christmas market. So this is Christmas Eve, right? So we have some kale and I was going to make some kale salad with some zucchini. That recipe is coming up. I have some rosemary that I wanted some more cuttings. I want to create some plants. So I, that's the main reason for buying the rosemary. And I wanted to do a fish. And I have some parsley, sive, celery to make some seeds, some green seasoning. I bought half a cabbage because I said I'm going to make a salad. And I really don't use much of this cabbage. So I only buy half because it's just for that salad. I bought some red onions again, this is for the salad, and the zucchini, so it would be zucchini, kale, cabbage, carrot, and so forth. That recipe is coming up very soon. Look out for that. It is coming up with a big fish. All right, so let's continue. I have a pineapple. Now, to be honest, I really bought the pineapple just for the top because I want to create a decoration for my um, dining room. But also, I, I just say, you know, if I buy it, I will have it for the salad, so right. I bought those bell peppers to make some stuffed bell peppers. And we have some yams. So we're going to cook that yam also for Boxing Day. The yam is going to go with the salad and the fish that I previously mentioned. Okay, I bought some Creole rice. Imagine there is people in this country who don't know what is Creole rice. Oh my gosh, it is so embarrassing to call yourself a Trimbegonia. <laughs> and we have some nice fresh tomatoes. I also want to get those seeds to replant. So I am now going to show you some oxtail this is two pounds this was 77 dollars two pounds of oxtail oxtail is really expensive but you know sometimes you have to treat yourself we have some pumpkin that is for my callaloo i'm going to make a callaloo also on christmas day i would do a live on that day this is the taro leaf you use the taro leaf and with the pumpkin to make the callaloo all right and the okra is most important okra okra <laughs> and we have avocado i bought some scorpion pepper because i want to do some planting i 
I needed um, this big leaf time because what I have is a small leaf time, which is rather rare than this one. That one is more popular. All right. As I said, I only purchased what I don't have in my garden because I have so much already in my garden. And these are the things that I don't have in my garden. And I wanted to create a nice fresh salad. And I decided to purchase those things. So I basically bought ingredients to make the fresh salad and also to bake my fish and also the callaloo all right and christmas day i'm going to do a live with the prep on how i make my callaloo and if it's not boxing day but the day after i would have the fish um video with the salad and everything so again i'm just going to show you what again i bought the pineapple the taro leaf tomatoes uh, avocado red onions and I had some kale and what pumpkin no okay the zucchini <laughs> and also well you will see everything else the bell peppers I said I'm gonna make some stuffed bell peppers with those bell peppers that was the main reason for purchasing them and the scorpion um gonna set them and let them grow and the yams all of that is going to be cooked on boxing day so look out for those recipe a lot of recipe in this video that you're going to see you're going to see my fish my big fish i drizzle it in a pineapple a spicy pineapple glaze really really good hello thank you girl and the creole rice we're going to cook so look out for all those upcoming recipe and again, this was my haul from my farmer's market trip this morning. And I really couldn't get into the building. There was so much people on this Christmas Eve day. It was so ridiculous. And I really didn't want to invade people's privacy in that way. You know, I have this big thing in my hand and people watch it. And you feeling uncomfortable, them feeling uncomfortable. You don't want to make nobody uncomfortable. So... Yes, so maybe one day, one day, I will have enough courage to do a full haul for you, um, a full trip of the markets in my area. So I hope you all enjoy watching this quick Christmas Eve market haul. Bye.